all right y'all so you're probably wondering why i'm talking about wrestling news and not my normal stuff well i want to explain as a commentary channel i'm open to talk about topics that's not always morbid weird and any topic in the world is good for me now with that out the way let's talk about tony khan and AEW's biggest l in history so last night on dynamite the young bucks for a while have been teasing to release the all-out footage that happened between jungle boy jack perry and cm Punk to fuel their feud between them and FTR most think the reason why Tony Khan and the Young Bucks did this is to respond to what CM Punk said in his recent interview on the MMA Hour earlier before WrestleMania and holy hell later on that night these dickheads actually did it they actually released the footage and honestly it's just basically how CM Punk described it. Jack came back from his match I was the next match I'm sitting there I got I got people with me I'm not gonna say who they are you know, because I got a lot of friends who work there and I, I, I wish them all well and I don't, don't want them to be punished because they're friends with me, you know, and I walk up to him and I'm just like, Jack, why do you insist on doing this dumb internet shit like on, on TV, you know? And he's just like, well, if you got a problem about it, do something about it. And I was just like, man, come on, man. <laughs> you know, I would fucking kill you. <laughs> like, what are we doing? You know? And it just, you know, it's like Chael says, sometimes he just can't let you get close you know i thought i was doing a responsible thing you know i didn't punch anybody i just choked somebody a little bit samoa joe was there told me to stop and then i quit i turned to tony and i said this place is a fucking joke man you're a clown I quit. and before the cm punk haters and aew marks come at me i'll say this i ain't defending cm punk for his actions like what he did to jungle boy jack perry everyone knows punk is wrong for what he did and i don't condone violence in any shape or form the part i'm trying to figure out is where in the video was tony khan scared for his life man's got scared of seeing two wrestlers having a little scuffle and the whole video just proves cm punk was right and aew just put him over despite him not being in the company you got my man's tony Chavez Vani here rethinking his life choices and re-triggering the PTSD from Bash at the Beach during his WCW days. This is honestly the biggest dickhead behavior I've ever seen from a wrestling company and its owner. And I feel bad for the talents and workers on the show that had to deal with this petty childish behavior. All that for Punk to respond to this IG story and said this. The crazy part about all this is when AEW had took down a fan video of people chanting CM Punk after the footage was shown is the same. How are you going to take down a fan video? It's not your video, it's a fan video. Along with that, AEW is copywriting people who post the all out footage which is weird because they posted it on their own show. What did they expect? They expected people, mainly the diehards, to agree with them but most are quiet and some still go like Dave Meltzer who said to himself that it wasn't even a good idea. But now we have Tony Khan fearing for his life after seeing the amount of backlash he's getting. Other than that guys, what do you guys think of this clown? Like what do you guys think of the situation? Like honestly in my opinion? what was the point of that it honestly did not benefit anybody throughout this whole situation like the key points that took away in my opinion like my this whole thing is my opinion was one AEW just gave WWE ammo to use in the Drew McIntyre CM Punk rivalry. Two, it just made AEW look like a stuck up bitter ex girlfriend who initiated a breakup but mad that their ex move on. Three, it just shows that they're childish and petty. And four, this just made Tony Khan look like a fucking clown. So, other than that, guys, what is your opinions on your situation? Make sure you guys like, share, subscribe, and ring the bell for future notifications on this channel. And if you guys want me to talk more about pro wrestling situations, situations that you guys want to hear my take on it make sure you drop in the comments below and right, guys it's your girl money two times signing off